Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Uh, this is the production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would recommend that you do so, uh, so that you can be notified of as, of uh, of any tutorial that I post. Uh, and uh, and I would uh, recommend that you become the fan of the Facebook page as well. <coughs> Now in today's tutorial we are going to learn about how to pile uh, plates. Well, yeah, I'm not joking, really. So let's uh, let's see. So you you have a bunch of plates. What do you do with that? You basically uh, put them on top of each other like this, right? And pardon my drawing here. Uh, but you know this is the like a cross section of uh, of uh, all these plates and uh, my plate size is getting smaller and smaller but you got the idea I mean this is how you normally uh, pile plates on top of each other right now <coughs> what do we what uh, what do we call it we call it a stack of plates right now what do we do I mean if you if you think about it what 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 did we do here we basically had plates and we put them on top of each other okay now if you need a plate to take out of that pile or stack what do you do you basically take out the one which is on the top and pull it out of the stack right i mean normally that's what you know if you're if you are a sane person that's what you do you would never try to pull it out pull one out from here because it's 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 not impossible but it's very hard to pull the plate from the middle or from the end or, or so on so we basically pull whenever we need a plate we basically pull it from the top the thing is that the plate which is on the top is the last plate that went inside this stack okay so this is this is the thing about stack is that basically whatever you the order in which you placed you basically take them out in the reverse order and this is called a uh, last in first out okay lifo this is what it is uh, referred to normally okay in short so last in first out so last plate that went in is the first plate that's going to come out okay now compare it to say in some grocery store or you know in some departmental store or something you have a um, um, you know uh, a, a person who is checking out your stuff okay and there are persons here customers in in line who are trying to basically get this get their stuff checked out so this guy is the first person who came in then this guy is the second person then third person and fourth person and they are in line and when this uh, salesman is available to check out this stuff the first person in line goes in here and gets serviced and when he goes out the second person in line comes and so on right it's very similar to this these plates except there is one big difference the big difference is that this is the first person who came in this is the last person who came in the first person who came in is the first person who gets serviced the last person who came in is the last person to get service here the last plate that got into the stack is the first plate that got out so this is last in first out this is first in first out which means that the first person that gets in line is the first person that gets out now why are we learning about grocery stores and the plates and stuff well these are the practical examples that we see everyday examples that we see around us in computer science a lot of times the way we accumulate data follow one of these models okay if it follows this model we say that you have to represent I mean this if you if you can identify which model it follows you can identify how to represent that data 
or whatever events that are happening whatever it is if you th if you if you see that it's basically you know if it is following last and first out rule then what you have to do is you know, right away you know that you treat them as these plates you know and this the best way to represent this is called stack okay as you know in in our regular language in in natural language you would call it a stack of plates that's that's where it comes from obviously so a stack it means that it's rep it's being represented by the data structure stack and what what it means is basically if anything that follows this this rule you can represent it to the same way as you would represent this uh, you know ordering of these plates here the way the plates go and the way pl the plates come out okay and this data structure the structure that actually implements the f f fifo principle is basically a queue or or a, you know we call it line we, we, you know we don't call it line in computer science this structure is called queue uh, but you know in our regular language we call it line so it's basically it's like you know if you have if you have data that needs to be processed in the order in which it came in the first guy the first data that came in that's the one that you have to process then it basically it's following fifo rule here some some people call it fifo also so it's totally up to you similarly some people call it lifo also so it's it's totally up to you whatever you want to call it but the point is that the, this represents a data structure called a stack okay and this represents a data structure called q now what are the what would be the examples of of uh, of a stack you know very relevant example of its tag look at the function calls okay very closely that and that's the reason why we i'm i'm talking about stack here the function calls actually if you think about it the way they work is basically this is our main function right remember main is also a function this is our start function the very first function every c program has to have a main function here okay so so this is the main function here it calls suppose you you basically call some function oops if this is main function you basically call some fu some function here for example get ch okay when you call that function it's like this right you call this new function get ch and suppose i we, we have no idea what get ch calls cause, because this is this function we never wrote that function it comes with the with, with this compiler so suppose this function also calls some other function okay and then that function calls some other function okay and then this function returns without calling any other function when it returns back we come back to this function and then this function returns we come back to this function and when this function returns we come back to this function so if you look at it what's going on here it basically we are calling this function then this function calls this function and then this function calls this function and the fun first function that completes is the function that was called last so this function was called last this completes first there is no way that this these functions can complete unless this function completes first so clearly we have what what do we have here the last function completes first we have this lifo organization here the lifo trend here last and first out the last function that's in that's the one that's that that would be called that would uh finish la uh, first so why i'm talking about this every function has some local variables here okay so these local variables are actually created on stack a memory a part of memory which is organized as a stack so the very first function the main function any any variable local variable that you are going to declare in main function it will be created oops they will be created first okay so this will be the main functions variables okay then the function call that it makes they are created here and so on and then as the function returns as these functions return their memory is cleared this is cleared then this returns it's cleared and this memory is available for the subsequent calls to the other functions i'll stop here thank you